Alrighty, welcome back. I have put the hood on. I am kind of liking, well, I'm, I'm liking it because of the, it will fill in this piece right here. Um, if I'm not bad Chad, I am mad Chad for cutting up a, <laughs> cutting up a, a louvered Merc hood. Um, we won't go there. We're just going to do it. Uh, I want, I'm going to cut this hood. I want them vis I want the visual to slide that piece in there. Um, I got the door so I can put it in and out and, and I can make a piece of that if I want it to. But I really want to cut the hood to make a visual for the front. I want to cut it up. I want to shove it on top of the fenders and bring it into the side of the car and see how far I have to come up. Um, I was looking at it with Jolene and uh, we were looking at it and where the tape line is, this, were, this is where I'm thinking about making the rest of the metal go up to. I still have to open this door up cut that square tubing off. I figured out in my brain that everything's okay when I cut it off because I'm going to put a tack weld right here above the line. I'm going to cut that one off. I'm going to cut that one off and I'm going to put a tack above here so that everything's going to stay in shape when I cut the square tubing off. I'll open the door up and pull that off. Um, in here I want to put a piece on top of the door I want to weld a piece on top of this square tubing, piece of, just a piece of metal, go down on top of that square tubing, weld it down there, and bring it up here and tack it on either side of the door. I want to do that, just cap that off nice so it looks good. Just take a piece of metal and do that um, so it don't look, so it's finished, I guess, so it's finished. Also, it'll stop it from moving. Um, but right at the present moment, I want to hook up the plasma cutter. I want to cut this hood, and what I'm going to do is, what I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to stay outside the inside the louvers here, take the louvers off, I guess, come out here somewhere. Don't really know. Just kind of just I just want to cut it and shove it in there because we know the 36 Ford hood is coming out and we'll be laying on top of this. Or I'm that's what I'm thinking. But we should run some square. I'm going to be able to wear run some square tubing from here up to the front and I'll know where this goes to. Then I can get a better visual. Doing this here, I think the, the door part is really a piece of piss. It just has to be done. But I want to put the hood on to see where I'm going. That's what I want to do. I want to get some tape. Ah, nice one in the evening, you know. It's, we're in the evening. It's nice. It's nice. Having fun doing this project. Jolene looks especially night at nice time, night time, especially nice at night time. I want to thank everybody for all the good comments and all the, all whatever, like, you know what I mean? It's all good stuff, all the positive stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. I'm going to take and run that. The, what I'm, what I, when I'm running this, the center of the hood, or cent, I'm thinking of the grill. That grill gets... You know, we're what? A little over a foot there, probably 18 inches, probably wide. So I want to at least come to this mark here on either side, at least that. And then I'll have something to cut back. Good to have that sitting there. So I want to come to. guessing that's what I think I'm going to take of the hood I'm going to take and cut this hood here Take this piece, I'm going to lay it on the fender, and then I'll be able to carve it and see what it looks like, where I'm going. We'll get a, we'll get a little more visual going on. Uh, I'm going to move this over here for a second. I've got to do a little bit to the front end. I should cut a mount right now. Right at the present moment, the, the car body itself is sitting on rubber mounts. When I take the hood off, you can, I'll get to only show you. But on the front, where it's sitting right here, we have no mount at all. Well, that's not true. There's a little bit of a mount there. I think we're fine for right now. I think I'll just cut the hood. I was going to cut a mount to put in there, but I think we're fine. 
Not sure if that's the original or one or what that is. I have no idea. I'm hoping that I would have liked it to take um, over here further, but I mean, I can't use the louvers. Uh, the louvers are no good to me. The louvers are no good to me. Wonder why your neck muscles hurt sometimes, you know? <laughs> now, I've got some inside construction on this stuff. There's in inside construction for the hinges. I'm going to have to deal with that after. I'll get her cut and I'll get the pieces cut off and then I'll skin the pieces later that I want. Uh, that's what I'm thinking, anyways. So, uh, this probably hasn't been done too many times. Is cutting up a louvered Merc hood. Uh, I, I know that could run someone. I could probably sell it and get two. <laughs> And there's just no time for that. Um, so I'm crying over spilt milk. No sense. Moving on. Those who forget quicker are happier. I'm going to turn that off. That's why I remind myself. Everything's good. We'll be riding around in a cab over and we'll be happy as a lark. Boy, baby. Happy as a lark. All right, I get some glasses, some gloves. I put the glasses out there, did I not? Nope, put them right there, look at that, would you? We get the hood cut in half, we'll get a real good visual, then we slide it on top of them fenders. Uh, them fenders are not where they're, you know, they're not probably exactly where they should be. They're probably not, have not, not worrying about that right at the present moment. I want the visual to know where it's going like that. I can play with that after, play with that after. gloves. Jolene does an amazing job on the camera work. We got the other piece welded in on the other side. We got this one welded in on this one. It's going really good, really happy with it. Everything's staying flat. Uh, I welded a little piece in there because I missed the gas cover door. Last time we did that, it was in there a little bit. Just welded another little piece in it. What the hey, it only took a minute. Got this piece welded in, got this door nailed in. Took a bunch, took self tapper and jammed it in there. Gonna weld it shut anyways. Uh, self tapped it, jammed that in the best it could. Uh, welded this up here. Did that the best it could. Didn't warp anything. Used air at the same time. Uh, I used a one of those. Thank you very much, guy. Them work pretty good. Them are, them are nice. They're cleaned off. Uh, the coat hangers sometimes have a, a coating on that you don't want to deal with. But it's going very well. I pretty well got, yeah, I think the door is going to go easy. I'm just going to have to cut that out and cut a sni couple snips of weld. That's fine. But we're moving on to the length and the whole visual. I just don't want to start running, start running everything down here, running everything down past the door when something could have been different or I could have looked at something or I could have played ahead of the game. So I'll play ahead of the game, cut the hood, check it out, see what happens. You can imagine how many hours I spent spent uh, cleaning that hood before I got to louver it. Took time. That's what we got. So that's what we're spending time. That's what we got. Nothing but. Ooh. Did you hear that? Did you? <laughs> Nothing but. There we go. Get a little clogged up in the end there. All right. Oh. Don't take long. All right, here we go. I'm going a bit fast here.
one up, girl. Rise up, rise up. Get on my face. Well, I mean, in so far on one side, we got the wrong side. Look, went in one further than the other, not paying attention. Look, went that one, that one. Oh well, see what happens. I know where the other piece is. I hope we don't need it. I am going to just go to, uh, I think I'm just going to get this right off at the front, I think. Try to see if the skin will pull right off. what we did. <clears throat> now, not sure what's going on. Right, we're going to cut the cross member. And there's a piece in there for the hinges on this. There's a cross member goes across there. You actually have to take one out when you do a hood like this. You have to take it out. Not going to do it that way. Gonna flip it over. <laughs> I guess this is the true meaning. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Huh? We can skin her from her louvers or we can skin her. We'll cut that off there. Cut that off there. <clears throat> good so far though. You know, give me some pieces. Oh. Wheezy Jetty. I don't even need that piece. That's the center piece. Duh. <clears throat> that piece there can come off. That's just a matter of taking those off. Which way? Do, how do I want to do that? How do I want to do that? All right. I took the wrong piece off when I skinned the front. That's okay. Let's skin this one too. Take, I want to take the inner construction out of the front and the back. Uh, where did I clean that up at? <clears throat> I want to take the... 
with that. Alrighty. Don't know if I need the lip or not. Hmm. I think I want the lip. So I'm not going to plasma cut it off. I think I'm going to cut it back here with a zip cut. I think I want. And that reason being is, this is what I'm thinking, as it comes down on the front of this part here, that hood comes down the front here. It's a good place to weld it. Yes, it is a good place to weld it in there. Because that'll fit on the bottom. How you doing, Fina? Huh? How you doing? Cruise along. Giddy up. That a girl. Call her Midnight Auto. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these off on the side. Yeah, I can try them on there first. I don't think it matters much. No, I want them off. Nope, I'm going to try it first. All right, let's do this. So, you can see what's going on. I want to trim that and get that laid down. Huh. That now, would you? Got my marker. Let's get one. Let's trim one up and just see, see, where, we, see, see where we can get with it. See what's happening. Um, that's, not, that's hitting. Hitting. Let's try that. Just... Be very careful, actually. I'm going to cut the inner construction out of it, then maybe cut a little more off and see what happens. That's just the front of that. See. <clears throat> That's not so bad that now that I'm trying it on the car because, or the truck because I'm getting to see visuals. It's okay now that I'm going further. Now I can see the front of the hood there. I couldn't see it before without the hood on. I couldn't see it, and I wanted to see it, and this is how I'm going to do it. deal with that after. Didn't want to use a plasma cutter on that right there like that because it would shoot down, shoot heat right on the on the side of the hood. But I sure will use it on that. <laughs> sure will use it on that. Just do a little bit at a time I'm hoping. And all I do is that when I do that and go like that. All it does is kind of burn the paint off so I can get a ground. Watch. Go real fast. That'll give me a ground. And then I can cut it off. Just little tricks.
Hope I didn't cut too much off. <laughs> Basically where I'm at, don't want to cut too much off at any time. All right. Take a little more. And then you can see as I lay this down, it's getting quite exciting really because once I lay this down, then I know where I got to put my hood. Don't step on that, sweetheart. Jolene, you're amazing. Jolene's amazing, everybody. She's amazing. No, I don't you generally say anything unless it's not unless it's true. You know what I mean? All right, let's take her down a little bit more and see what happens. We'll just do our little trick again, do a little ground. Cut her quarter off or anything. I don't think we're cooking what the rock's cooking, but we're cooking. <laughs> we're cooking. A little bit at a time. A little bit of time. Make myself just go easy. Just trying to keep it the same distance all the way. Take back and take a look myself, see? Good, good. I'm glad I decided to do this first. You know that? I really feel like the doors are pretty basic. I just want to get everything lined up right. See what this hood looks like. That's basically what I want to do. I want to, ouch, ouch, ouch. See what the hood looks like. Oh. Come on, baby. Must get uh, a little bit of water sometime, maybe. Not sure. Let's try it again. One more time. There we go. So, uh, what I'm also wondering is, is the hood gonna come up high enough to be a part of the door? Wow. Alrighty. I'm getting very close. Very close. So this, this hood is gonna have to be welded to the, to the front fender down the seam. Very close. not good because it's not going to move that far. All right, so I'm going to do a little more than that. I'm going to keep parallel with that line. That's my scribe line. So I'm just going to make it come out a little bit further. Let's try that. 
we might have to add a little bit on that to go up there. Don't know. It'd be nice if it went up there, but if I have to add a little piece, I will. That's what I'm trying to find it. stuff. I like doing this. I th the front end might have to come up. The front fender's way down on this side. I guess it does not matter either. Uh, it could, it looks like it could have come up, should come up in the front a little bit. Looks like it. I'm not sure. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick it up. And what's going to happen is I'm going to look at Jolene. She's going to give me a nod and tell me if that fender. This is what I want. This is what I want everybody at home to look for, I guess. And Jolene, when I pick the front fender up, do I get a gap there? And I'll just take a look up here, and then I'll see how much, and then we'll go from there. That open that up? Good. All right. So I got to make a, I got to make a shim, just like I thought. <clears throat> uh, da, da, da. Got my boat roller. Make a little shim to put it in between the, the front end. There's a bolt. As you come over here, you can take a look. Looks like what they have. Well, I don't know what side you can see it on but it's originally right there. You can see it right there. There's a, I don't know if that is bolt roller or what that is, but there's the, the original mount. It looks like bolt roller, probably already been at it. <laughs> I need a piece of bolt roller. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shim that front up to see if it fits better, to get it to fit better. Sure, Julie wants to check my mic so everybody can hear what's going on. <clears throat> Once I, once I get the front end figured out and get this part figured out, then I can figure out where I want to draw the door. I can figure out more where I want it to look like, where I want to cut it off. I don't want to cap that yet. I want to figure out some of this stuff going on. Uh, that's what I've made up my mind. Sometimes, you, you know, you just don't go. You know, I could continue on, continue on, continue on, but when I come to the end, there might be something going on. So I should more or less probably figure it out before I start jumping the gun. I'm going to come up that much. <laughs> this is boat roller. Boat roller, I get it at Princess Auto. If Princess Auto wants any advertising, get a hold of us. Jolene's got a thing there she'll do for you. We use it quite a bit. Um, it's, what can I say? It's real. We use it quite a bit. We buy it there. It's just boat roller, I guess, for bringing your boat up on your trailer. And that's I use it for putting in mounts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift that up. That shim right there. There we go. I'm going to get a screwdriver to straighten and get it in there, straighten her out. <clears throat> Take a look down here. I helped us out some. Yeah, not bad. Was it more than that when I did last time? Did, you, did I lift? Just let me lift a little bit more and try it again. More? Yeah. Should I lift it more? Yeah. Okay. So I'll just make another one. That's all I have to do. Let's make another one. But that one's there right there for now. Let's cut a little bigger. That's nothing. There's a baby. Huh? That's nothing. Just be careful on this stuff. Go slow. Go slow. It's already got the hole drilled in it for you. It's rubber. It's not hockey puck. It's rubber. Freedom. That's what it is. 
it is freedom. Freedom, people, freedom. Want to take a look before we? Oh my! Land soul had the mercy. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Jolene was right. She's a good helper, man. She's a good helper. Yeah, there we go. All right, now would you? Hmm, I need a little something stronger than that. <clears throat> but yeah, not quite exactly lined up. I probably should be. Shut that off. Probably should be before I put that hood back on there. Something a little stronger than that. Maybe if, I hit it, maybe if I hit it with a hammer, it might go in. Just be nice if it halfway in the hole. That way there it doesn't move. Made that bottom fender look a lot better. I'm happier with it. There we go. We might, we might want to change that. <laughs> it's in there. It's not quite the length, but it's in there. Alrighty, hood's looking good on this side. Yeah, that's real good. Push that in down there. Oh yeah. Whoop, whoop. I'm gonna take a look at the other side. Just cause not all the, all the whack. This stuff can take forever if you want. If you want it to, it can take forever. No, nope, like that. It's good. Pull that back where it should be. It's good. <clears throat> now I'm gonna try this front end back on. Keep going, that's all I can do is keep going and going and going and going. Um, we're gonna take a little more than that. We're gonna go do it again, but I, I want to describe it first so I can make another line parallel to that line. Try that. Once I get that down there, then we'll really get to stand back and have a visual. Oh, baby. Alrighty. Gotta plug, plug my air back in. <clears throat> so what's gotta be done, back around over and over and over and over and over until it's done right. Until you're satisfied. Not done right until you're satisfied. And remember, you're the only one you have to satisfy. I'm pulling my, I'm pulling my cord, man. Cool. I'm hoping this goes down on there nicely. Well, we're getting pretty darn close. We're getting pretty darn close. I think, I think, nope, we're not that close. Not even back far enough. That makes me happy that we got all this, because I'm thinking that at least that you know we're in there, we're there close, we're close by. That's for sure. Take a little bit off. I cut it right the first time, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> right? 
Do it, boy. That's what I want. I want the front to be able to fit here. And I can see I'm going to be able to bend that hood around a bit. I'm going to take a clamp and just set it, a C clamp, set it on there easy. Try to hold that front. Don't want to bend nothing. When you're C clamping stuff, you don't want to bend anything, so be careful. Like, um, I think I bruised the door. I think I bruised the door on this side by clamping it one time too tight. I think I can get it back out, but I want to wait, wait till the end. But I, I bruised it for no reason. I should have should have taken it more gentle, I guess. What I mean by bruised it is I put a damn den in it. That's what I did. I put a damn den in it. Just trying to clamp that up on the bottom of that. I want to bruise nothing. I don't want to bruise nothing. Just, I just want to hold it. There we go. Now I know. I push. I can push that in there and weld that. That's nice welding all the way across there. That's very nice. I can weld that all across there. What I'm hoping is, is I can push push this down. And that if that stayed there, if I welded that there, which I think I should be able to, because. I'm just thinking it would it would push down, and that's quite a see that pop. I'm thinking we're in the I think we're 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 in the vicinity of nailing that on. It probably would be easiest, and then the metal only has to go a little ways, like just a little tiny ways. Actually, should go in there further on this part. And you can see here, if I bring it back here, then I can this. if you can picture it, let's do this. I'm going to cut a little more off that. I've got to. I've got to. that little bit off I guess see what happens I don't think uh, these things like air or any bit of dirt. That's okay. Ah, I'm gonna blow that on that. That's my other side. Closer, closer, closer. I think. One more time. One more time. One more time. Fitting good up here, seems to be. One more time. <laughs> You know, it is what it is, eh? It is what it is. I still went there nice.
Keep your fingers crossed, baby. Just don't want to go too far. Any time on that, we ruin that piece. That's a quite a quite a piece, really. I want it to work. Don't want it to fail. And uh, yeah. Now, I think we're pretty well there. I think I'd make that fit. I think I'll nut nail that down. I would nail that down. Let's do it. Why not? I think it's not going to hurt anything. I can always knock it off. It was not talking to me, so I had to come a little closer. Take that over there just for... Just, just for... For visuals, I need it in my own brain to see where I'm going. I want to know what I want to cut the door like. I have no idea what, how I want to cut that door yet. I know I can make the door work. I, I know that. Um, I feel that. It's just where I want to cut it and where I want to do it. Uh, let's get a ground on here. Just want to stick it in a couple places. I just want to, you know, what can I say? What's that called? Bridge it so I can, just want to bridge it so I can snip it off easy. Well, this is an easy spot where to cut it off. Ouch. Burnt my little luscious, my luscious belly. Ouch. Still burning my belly. Baby, give me a brand new shirt tonight. She said, go out and pretend you're bad, Chad. I said, okay. Um, I'm just going to snip it right here. Actually, it's, it's flusher here, so I'm going I'm to weld it right on here for a sec. Now, if you look at that, that's just a little tiny weld, just a little tiny weld. So I can move the zip cut and zip that off. If I had the flapper wheeled off, there would not be an issue. Now, I'm just wondering, can I get that down where it's supposed to? Or should I cut it more? What am I holding on to? See now? I'm thinking I like that. Now yeah, I have to take that back off. No? Yeah, I do have to take that back off to get the... That's got a gap in it there. I know it does. But I would weld that on there and I'd maybe put a piece over top of that, maybe a little tiny splinter over top of that and weld that down along there. Uh, I'm going to... See what I can do is just take a little more off that zip cut and probably let it in. But... I don't really want to snap it on the door. Let's do it here. Gooch. Come on, come on. There we go. Just bridge it across. Pull that down. Just want the visual. Not sure if I'm gonna, I would take the hood off and make it come down more or not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know for sure, as we can bring this line down, now I know this line down here, I'm going to have to come out here somewhere and come up here and do the exact same thing. But as I have that on there, this is just a skin now. 
This is just a skin. You see me put it on. It's right there. I took this out of it. I took that piece out. It's just a skin now. Up front, it's still got a construction, but I took it. It's just a skin. So now I can come along here. Like, to be honest with you, now that I see what I got going on here, instead of that black marker, this is just, this is for us, I guess. This is for the people that are watching, the people that are interested, the people that comment and share. Thank you very much. I appreciated all your comments and shares and likes and all that sort of stuff. We're just trying to build a truck as quick as possible, put it together, um, fabricate as quick as possible. Jolene looks amazing again today. Thanks, baby. But uh, right now, I'm trying to visualize the shape that I want my door. I'm trying to visualize, visualize the shape I want my door. I'm going to put a little tape on here. And anybody that feels like they want to participate in that, they're more than welcome. So I would cut, after I add that together, something like that. I stand back and just take a look at it for a visual. I uh, didn't want to weld my door shut until I find out what's going on. That's not bad. That's not bad. Let's do this here so we, so we really get a visual. Connect that together. So the green is the door. Now, uh, I can put this back on any time. That's where the metal's got to go up to. This skin, we we'll want this skin, which will make one piece or try to get it in one piece there, or whatever it is, we'll get it in piece in there. And then that will be the door. Then once, it's, once I'm done, I have a weld mark there, a weld mark there. The skin will be, I'll release it from the door here before I weld these two together. The square tubing will be cut out of there, so the door, as soon as I open the zip cuts, it'll open. But soon I just take a plasma cutter and I'll come down here and cut that open, go along there and cut that open. When the door opens out, then I'll figure out how to cap that all to make it something. Um, not saying that is the shape of the door, but that very well could be the shape of the door. I don't know, maybe the, maybe the door should kick back this way and go down. It can kick back that way and come down. Um, it, can, it can come down this way. There's a whole bunch of different ways it can be done. Uh, it's not a bad looking way, I guess. If I come down like that, just have a little tiny piece of this here. Half a dozen was one or the other. I guess that's, that's the thing. If you can, if you can draw this car and uh, see this body line, Tell me what, what you would make the shape of the door. I don't know what the, I think the picture just shows right here, I think. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at it. But it, we can also, we can even come down further if we want it to. doesn't matter. It's just a part of the fender and cut it off and weld it to the door. Um, just have to make sure the door comes open and it doesn't. I'm going to take and do this for you, just for, for us. Do we have a computer tonight? Do we, baby? Yep. We have a computer tonight. We're going to give away a hat or a shirt. Stay with us because we want to thank you. I want to thank all the new people. Had to put it on there, you know, before I did that door. Had to put it on there. Didn't know if I was going to show you or not, but I had to put it on there. I'm not going to get that hood on there because of that. See, now we got to cut the hood off. Fit that. <laughs> Can you see it, baby? Can you see it? Now I've got to cut the hood off. So that'll be another test. Um, what's going to happen? I I'm, I'm guessing. This is what I'm guessing. I'm guessing that I'm going to take and bend some steel tubing, square stock steel tubing, weld it on probably the inside, probably the inside here on this post. So you've got that post welder across there, two by steel, and the front door post is held there. We'll probably weld in here and we'll come in here underneath this piece or on the side of this piece and weld this piece to the square tubing. And then the hood can lay on the, the hood and the square tubing. Alrighty, I just cut up a hood, a Merc hood with louvers in it um, to build something, and that's the way it goes. Uh, I, think, I think it's okay, but what's going to happen is I'm going to be able to sit back and get a good visual of what's going on, get an idea of how I want the door to look, 
I still have the idea of putting a tank in there. I still have the idea of cutting this all off and putting a whole new skin on there because it's, you know, it's seedy. There's no sense in me going in there and trying to fix all that when I can put a whole new side on it. Uh, and plus I can put in brand new metal, which makes it straight. I think we got to, I think I got to take a little bit more off this to get that down there just a little bit better. I think we got to do another marker thing. We can do that again. That's all it is. Uh, basically, that's what it took. I had to keep scribing and keep scribing and keep scribing until it fits. I'm hoping that you're liking it. You get a good visual from the side here, baby? Come over here for me. You get to see the... Oh, this is what I can do for you. This is what I can do for you. Now, see the center of the hood, how I want to get the center of the hood all cut over there, because I want that to fit in that grill. Look at that now, would you? Fit inside that grill. See that hood? If I don't know if we're going to or not. It's probably need more. It's going to need more. It's going to need more. And what we'll have to do is, as I'm looking at this, this here is going to have to be built up here. That's going to have to be built up there. It's going to be built up there, and that hood only fits up here, I think. But anyways, that's basically what I had imagined, something like that right there. And then we'll go from there. All right, let's get that computer out. Where's the computer at? Right there, she says, right there. So that's that's the dilemma I am. I mean, that's the dilemma I'm in right now. It's not really a dilemma, but like I said, there's always so many ways to skin a cat. There's so many ways to make that door look nice. Uh, there's just so many ways. So I just want to pick the best way and the easiest way. That's what I want to do. And when there's just when there's options, then that's the time to think. Don't sink. Yep, we're gonna. See how many comments there were. We want to appreciate all. We appreciate all the people coming. Um, if you are enjoying our page and, and you're, you know, you want to be, or you are who you think you are, um, you want to buy some Hilt's gear and help us out. You're more than welcome. You're more than welcome. We help you. You help us. How's that? And we all work together. Reel it in. Reel it. Fishing. This thing is looking good. Thanks, man. I was just wondering, are you talking about the truck or Jolene? Ha <laughs> ha, Jolene looks good, man. Woo woo. Well, thank you about that. Thank you about the, the comment. Um, we appreciate it. It's looking better and better all the time. Getting that, just, just getting that hood on there makes me feel a little bit better about things. I didn't know where I was going with that hood. Um, had no hoods to buy and had no hoods to go get, so it was going on. But I needed to have that to really see where it's going. I know that most of this in here is gonna to have to be built up higher because this line's up higher, so I'm gonna to have to take that up a little bit. I'm glad that I have the extra metal that I have. And uh, there you go. Thank you very much for coming and watching. Like, share, and comment, if you will. Tell your friends, tell your brothers, tell your sisters, tell your mothers, tell your fathers, tell your uncles, tell your cousins make dozens, relations make nations. Over and out.